One, two, three, and all of them were locked. I mean, it, it was worse than we are feeling right now. Mm -hmm. Let me put up the light on the light. Sorry. I guess it was full. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. It was full. Five zero. <laughs> so being inside here two or three days, the white soldiers will come find out how many people are dead, how many are alive. If they came and there's some dead, some alive, we'll not get rid of the dead bodies. The living stayed here with the dead. Mm -hmm. They locked all the three doors, went back, came back the next day. They repeated the cycle till they found the last person dead. When that happened because they couldn't stand the smell, they went for some of the enslaved males to come carry the dead bodies of the own brothers in your arms. They carried the dead bodies and laid the dead bodies in the courtyard and called the rest of the enslaved Africans to come witness what happened to the captives who tried being the Kunta Quintas, the Nelson Mandelas, and the Kwame Krumas. When that was done, the dead bodies were tied to stones and dumped into the sea. So we call the sea the grave of the enslaved Africans. Any questions? All right, there we go.